Welcome to Positive Parenting Today. I'm Jacqueline Muniz from the Children's Services Council of Palm Beach County, your host for today's show. The concept of touch points is a different approach to thinking about child development. It is a theory based on the work of Dr. T. Barry Brazelton, world-renowned expert in pediatrics and child development. According to Dr. Brazelton, right before a child is going to burst in a particular line of development, they will regress in another area of development, just for a short period until they have mastered a new skill or reached a milestone. Dr. Brazelton refers to this period as a touch point. Dr. Brazelton states that there are eight touch points of child development in the first year of a child's life beginning prenatally. At 12 months, parents joyously celebrate their child's first birthday. So much has changed in one year. Parents feel more confident about their parenting skills because they have learned so much about their child and have built a trusting, loving relationship along the way. Cheryl Jacobs, a registered nurse specialist, returns to the home of the Ricketts and Bridgers to check in with them and allow them to share their experiences parenting their one-year-old. Between the 12 and 15 month touch points, parents begin to witness the emergence of a more independent and mobile child and experience the joys and challenges that come along with parenting during these touch points. Hey, Okisha, so Hi, nice Cheryl. to see you again. Nice to see you too. I couldn't wait to come back and see how Tamani's grown. Look what I have, Tamani. Would you like to see that? What does that do? What happens? <gasps> you want to try? You want to try? What happened? Does he like to push buttons? In? Yeah. He's into that. He's into everything. He's into everything? You did it. You did it. Watch. Want to do it again? So he's a busy boy now? Yes. He's very active. Very active? Mm. You did it. Yay, Tamani. A good boy. Yay. He's a good boy. So. Mom says you're a good boy and you're really active. Mm. You want to try again? Sure. So do you notice he wants to do things over and over? Yeah. Mm. Yay, Tamani! Now he's going to close it. Did yeah. you see that? He only needs you to see. Yay, you did it. I'm so proud of you. He only Yay. needs to see you do something once or twice, and then he mimics you. <gasps> you only have to see it one time, Mommy said. Yay. Go ahead. Mm. You can do it. You can do it. Can. He's really proud of himself. Did you yes. see that smile? Like, mm. oh, I have. you know what I have? <gasps> You found my phone. You gonna say hello? Could you like to talk on the phone? Yeah? Can you say hello? Hello, Tamani. Can you say hello? Let me hear you say hello. So I see he likes to push buttons. Yeah. He's a button pusher, huh? Oh, yeah. And he twists things. He saw me hide it under there. Did you <laughs> notice that? Yeah. And then he was like, I remember I saw you oh, put yeah. it under there. Yeah. What, oh, can I say hello? Hi, Tamani. How are you? Would you like to say hi to Mama? So he's starting to get a few words. What are the words? Yeah, he says Mommy. He says Baby. Juice. Wow. Door. What are some things he's into these days that makes it rough for you? He's into climbing. Climbing. If you see him climb on the tables, climb on the couch, pull out the the cushions off, climb on the kitchen table. I have to watch him very closely because yeah. he's very, very active and he moves yeah. so fast. Yeah. You just turn around and he's gone. And you're blinking. He's, he's into something. Yeah. yeah. So he likes to explore. Yes. What about feeding time? Does you feed him or is he feeding himself now? Well, I still feed him. If I do, he makes too much of a mess. Uh -huh. And I hate uh -huh. to clean up all that mess, so uh, yeah. I still feed him. Yeah. Does he want to do it? Yes. He does? He eats a lot more if I let him hold the food, the spoon, and I guide it in his mouth. Oh. Okay. But I won't let him sit down and eat this yeah. dinner. He'll have a mess all over uh, him, all over the clothes, all over the floor. Uh, yeah, you're doing it. Yay. Yay. You're yeah, you're doing it. You're so proud of yourself. He's so proud of himself, isn't he? When he does that. You want me to do it? Okay. I'll help you. Yay, we did it together. We did it together, huh? What about babies? Do you like babies? I don't know. I have a baby. Would you like to see my baby? Oh, it's a nice baby. Can we put this aside for a minute? Can we put it right here? You want to see my baby, Tamani? Oh, would you like to hold it? 
<laughs> like, it's what a baby. is that? Does he have any toys that are like dolls or mm, or no. anything that he? Oh, uh, oh. Uh, you gonna give it a hug? Wanna have it? Oh, oh, that's so oh. sweet. <laughs> that's so sweet. Where are you taking your baby, Tamani? Oh, he's rubbing his head. Oh. <laughs> Tamani, look what I have. Does the baby like to eat? Does the baby like to eat? Yeah? How would we feed the baby? Can you show me? What would you do? How would you feed the baby? What do you think? Do you know what that's for? Is he still taking a bottle? Yes. Oh, oh. Mm, thank you. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Oh, good job, Timani. Nice job. Yay. Yeah. I've never That's seen so him sweet. play with a, a doll like that before. Yeah. yeah. Actually, Talia doesn't let him play with her dolls, so. <laughs> Maybe he needs his own little doll. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. Because you see how you've nurtured him? He was doing the same with the baby. Yeah. So that tells a lot about your relationship with him and how gentle you are and because he's the same way with the baby. Yeah. So that's really sweet. So do you see him being more independent or dependent on you or a little of both? He's more independent, but he still let me know when he needs help. Okay. Meaning, if I say to Mani, go get your shoes, he'll know where to get his shoes. Oh. And he'll try to put it on. But then I say, come and sit down, and he'll let me put it on his feet. Right. So that receptive language is really, yeah. really starting. Yeah. And the expressive language has yes. started with the words mama, yeah. mommy, mommy. You see, mommy, mommy, baby, daddy, baby, juice, daddy. So yeah. those are a lot of words. Oh, yeah. So I think you can probably look to, in the, in the close future, putting two together. Yeah. Does he say me yet? Is he having awareness mm. of who he is? Yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah. I love the baby too. He smells so good. Mmm, what a smell his head. It you want to so feed good. the baby? Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and he lets you know when he's hungry. How does he tell you? He comes in and says, ah. So your mom knows exactly what you want because you tell her. You tell mommy what you want to eat. Is it easier for you being the mom of an independent child or the dependent child? Which independent. Is Independence easier for you. Yeah, because I get a lot more stuff done now that he's able to entertain himself. Uh huh. He's not like playing at my feet every single minute of the day. Mm -hmm. So if he wants something, you know, he'll he'll go get his toy. He'll sit there and play. If he wants to watch his DVD, mm -hmm. he'll go and mess with it. That's amazing. He's only yeah. been on this earth for what 14 months. Yeah. And look at all he can do. Oh yes. And do you think he gets a lot of his cues from your facial expression when he's doing something? More so than your words sometimes, yeah. or how does that work? Like, when he's doing something that he's not supposed to do, you can see him look behind you. Oh. <laughs> and then when I look at him like this, he, like, turns away, and then he turns back to look to see if I'm still looking at him. So he gets a lot of my, from my, what, you know, my facial expression. Right, right. But if I'm pleased with what he's doing, he's, he'll smile, okay. and he'll continue doing it. Okay. But he knows when he's doing something wrong because he's always looking over his shoulder. Looking at you, checking yeah. in with you to see what you think. So now you're starting to set some limits. What happens if he wants to do something and your limit is no? How does he react? Well, he screams. He screams. He's in the stage where he's stomping his feet and he screams. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So he's... And he's pats on the table. He's protesting. Kind of, he's yeah. telling you, yeah. I really want to do this. He has a fake cries too. A fake cry? Yeah. What's that about? <laughs> like if he wants a particular, my, my cell phone, which he's always dialing people. Mm -hmm. So I'll take it from him and he'll just stand here with his fake crying, looking at you out of one eye with the other eye closed and tears coming down. Yeah. And then after a while, when he noticed that you're not even paying attention to him, mm -hmm. he just walks off. And that's his fake cry. So why should I spend energy with this cry? Because mom's not going to pay yeah. attention anyway. So I think I'll just stop, right? Yeah, he tries it. <gasps> what else do I have that you're interested in over there? Hey, you want oh, this one? puzzle. Wow. Does he, has he start to do puzzles? Takes the pieces out. Takes the pieces out. I don't know if he knows how to put them back in as yet. He's trying. Can we put it up on the table, Tamani? Would it be okay if I move it? Can you come you with go. me up here so we can see? Put that Let's one put back. It up here. Show me. You took this one out. Show me. How do you do yeah. 
Yay, you did it. <laughs> it goes right here. Could you put it right there, Dave? Yay! <laughs> you're doing it, Tamani. You're so proud of yourself. He's so proud of himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes right here. Let's see if you can get it. The duck goes right there. This duck goes right here. Yeah, you're trying. Yes, you are. Look at that. You're trying really well. Yay! Yay! We'll put our ducks away. Let's see what the doggy does. I think he... Oh, there you go. Can you make that doggy go? Watch. Yay! Oh, get it. Let's see. Yeah, can you put it up here so I can see it too? And show me. Show me how you make that doggy. Oh, look. So he knows how things work. Did you see? He's really imitating. Oh, yeah. You know how things work, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. When he was sick the other day and he was just like all fussy and wasn't talking much and just whining, that was really a test for me to see, okay, how well do you know your child? Okay. So, and we worked out pretty fine okay. as far as him trying to get him to eat when he didn't want to eat. Mm -hmm. Because he would only eat or drink what he wanted to drink. It wasn't what mommy is giving me. So. And, and that's a time when he was sick. In that time when he was sick. So I had to let him choose wow. what he wanted. And whatever he yeah. pointed that he wanted, that's what yeah. he had to eat. Because he probably knew what he felt like having. Yeah. yeah. I think that when moms have a lot of insight like you do mm -hmm. into what their child's all about and what makes them tick, it makes it easier for you. Oh, yeah. And your relationship with him, that give and take, and it makes you, it makes it more pleasant. What do yeah. you think about that? It does. Yeah. It does, cause I just let Tamani be Tamani, and he's all right. That's cool. And it That's makes cool. him happy, and it makes me happy, and it makes my life less stressful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing Tamani with us today. Oh, my oh, pleasure. It's just he's just amazing thank to be you. so young and be doing all the things that he's doing, using all the words that he's using. And you two seem to really be doing that dance, oh, yeah. that give and take. After 12 months of age, a child's emotional ties to their parents are strengthened to the point where they use their parents as a base from which to step out and explore their world, knowing that they can come back at any time and feel safe. The more secure they feel in their relationship with their parents, the more independent they want to be, and the more they will learn. So hey guys, how you doing? Doing great, Cheryl. Great, hi. It's so good to see you again. It's good to see you really too. Is. Thanks for coming back. Oh, I wanted to. I just couldn't wait to see Annabelle, but I don't want to look at her yet because I don't know how she'll take me being a stranger. So I mm -hmm. thought I'd just give her a couple minutes to see if she warms up. Okay. What do you how think? is she when someone new and different comes along now? Usually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. She's pretty. But guys <laughs> with beards, she's not. She's definitely very skittish about it. <laughs> so, yeah. That makes her nervous, but normally she she warms up pretty well. I mean, it takes her takes her a minute or two, she's, she's doesn't it? Looking at me right now and trying to decide. Hmm. Hi. Hmm. Check it with you guys. But if you have something she wants, she'll go over and yeah. hang out with you. <laughs> I think I have something in my pocket. Mm -hmm. We'll see about that. Mm -hmm. Can I say hello? Yeah. Hi, Annabelle. Uh -huh. How are you? Here comes that smile. <laughs> so tell me what it's been like for you guys this year. Mm. It's better now so that she sleeps all night. <laughs> it's fun now. It's fun now. It is fun now. So I mean, thinking she's... back. Yeah, that was a lot of um, sleepless. <laughs> yes, I mean it was all part, it was all fun. It's the sleep. Yeah. It's neat. You see, it seems like every three months there's like a pretty significant change in whatever she's got going on. Yeah. She like goes through all the like. Trying to walk, trying to walk, trying to walk, and then all of a sudden, just two weeks before her first birthday, she Stuck takes off. two step, no, two or five steps that night, and the mm -hmm. next morning she was like off. Yep. The very off next morning. Mm -hmm. So. So you but, walked before your first birthday. Barely. You did. You think just a few you weeks see before. that I have some mm -hmm. things, don't you? <gasps> mm -hmm. You're very clever. You found my <laughs> box. Would you like to see what I have in my box? And I'll say, please. Oh, I have a reindeer. What do you think about the reindeer? Oh. Can you hug the reindeer? 
Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> so receptive <laughs> speech. She's, oh, thank you. She understands what you're thank saying you. to her. She does. Mm -hmm. What do we do with this? Yeah. Eat this. <laughs> Eat this. So if you give spoon? her, you know, a direct um, something to do or, or try to encourage her to do something, she understands what you're she saying. She does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can say, okay. you know, take we. Please take this over to Daddy, and she takes it she over. Does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I heard she, she has quite a few words already. She she does. She loves her animals and her animal noises, okay. and and then she can do like her face, like her nose and mouth, and that sort of thing. So you, I heard you say please to Mom. Would you like the blue block? Ah, <gasps> beautiful. Can, How about this one, Annabelle? Can you Mom, say this please? Keep it. Keep it. Can you say please? Beautiful. Please. Oh, you want to give them all this? Please. One to that dad. Was fun. It's a constant, like, she takes stuff and she moves it over here, puts it in a stack, and then uh, she takes them from here, she puts it back. It's, oh, it's wow. wild. She's seashells on the beach are her favorite because they're, it's a oh, limitless supply. More? So she picks okay. up the seashells and moves them and picks them up and moves them. There you go. I'm not sure why. So she's like organizing. Yes. yes. How is she with putting things in, taking things out? Well, she has the little game, you know, with the with the different shaped holes and the uh -huh. blocks that right. fit. Um, and she gets a little frustrated <laughs> when okay. she can't find it, but but she can do it sometimes. Good. She's learning. So what would you say this past couple months has been the biggest I, challenge with her? Really, everything we do with her, she will repeat and go and do. Yeah. Other so places. she's remembering yeah. and learning and trying it out. That's yeah. what she's Constantly. Yeah. It, it is amazing. She's, I mean, just at, at this stage, I guess she's constantly just, she's a sponge. She yeah. wants to learn. And she walks around and, uh, and takes you and then points at something and says that. That and oh, she wants to know what it is, know. and she wants you to know do? what sound it makes. You typically because wow. she likes making the sounds. You know what? I think you're amazing. That's what I think. <laughs> yeah. I think you're amazing. <laughs> I do. I think so. so how is it when you leave her for daycare in the morning? How does she react? And, and she's fine. I mean, okay. she's she she likes it there. Okay. She um, ribbons out. Yeah. <laughs> she's pretty social. I think mm -hmm. so. She so likes, she takes, it's an okay. easy transition for her to go we, from you to there. We just started, um, she had like a two week break from summer and, and then she transferred from the baby room to the one year old room. Wow. And mm -hmm. she really likes it. Uh, I think it's kind of a long day for her though, because the she's box. there, she's there full day um, without uh, one of us stopping in, predominantly Amy. That's been a big change for me because I was very flexible last year. My my um, my job has changed a little bit, so I'm I really am dropping her off in the morning and picking her up in the evening, and that's right. hard. It's hard. It's hard, hard for, for you. me. <laughs> Probably but harder she, on mom. I mean, but. when I go and pick her up, she's playing and she's having fun, and yeah. you know, I get this note of all the things she's done during the day, and then we uh -huh. we my hours aren't too bad, so we yes. have a lot of time to play in the morning, and you know, we read lots of books in the evening, so mm -hmm. <laughs> we're like spending a, a lot of time different. together, but it, it's, an, it's an adjustment. It is. It mm -hmm. is for you, it sounds like. For me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's fine. Yeah. yeah. Does it kind of hey. feel like you're kind of losing your baby now that she's oh, it does. more independent? And, and I, yeah. I weaned her at 13 months, so that's kind of relatively new for me, too. Right. <laughs> so. yeah. A lot yeah, happening so. all at Everything's once. Everything's changing. Mm -hmm. So how is it with setting limits? How's that going for you? She does. She does pretty well. I mean, she she's learned how to say no. For oh, sure. she has. Like, no, I don't want that. Right. She, no. So she's setting limits for us. Right. <laughs> exactly. I know, her Is that what I was saying? Her <laughs> setting limits for her. I think no, so. but I mean, it's like, it, but it's both ways because she understands what the concept of no means. So uh -huh. she does like going in the cabinets to pull stuff. I was like, no, no, no we can't do that. Right. So we just very calmly shut the doors. Uh huh. And, you redirect. To, redirect. Mm -hmm. You have to tell her a lot. I mean, you tell her no, and she'll go and do it. No, she'll go and do it. They're exactly. really sternly no, and sometimes uh -huh. she's still good. <laughs> you know, right. so then we have to, at that point, we pick her up or we take it away, or we, right. and she'll fuss for a minute, but mm -hmm. then we just move on. Yeah, I think that. We don't um, give it back to her. Right. I think just being right. firm and consistent. <laughs> That's the Setting yeah. the limits because she's asking you to set limits for her. Right. Mm -hmm. She needs to know what her boundaries are. Mm -hmm. So she's independent now, and she can think and do what she wants and go where she wants to <laughs> and make up her own mind about what she wants to do. Yeah. Have she had any like, meltdowns or tantrums? Yes. Or, <laughs> yes. What's that she, like? 
Uh, well, head back. And... She arches her back. <laughs> and she, I mean, she's like fully into the, you know. Um, and the first time it happened, I called the doctor. <laughs> Maybe. What were you thinking? I was thinking maybe she's teething, maybe there's some severe pain, maybe there's some, um, I don't know, <laughs> something's she, wrong with her. She just wanted somebody <laughs> to tell me that it was else normal. to like really say this is okay. Yeah. Right. And it is. And that's, yeah. you know, she needs, we all yeah. need that. Because, you know, good. you're you're a caring mom and you were worried. Well, yes. you, you probably had never seen that before. No, and so it was no. different. And I was afraid that I would drop her. I mean, she was really <laughs> flailing around. Yeah. And, so I, and then if I put her down, I thought she's going to hit her head. I mean, she's... But yeah. it was just, you know, a, a little, a short time, and then she, she sort of cried out of it, and then she came to me and wanted to hug, and... So, when she had this little meltdown with the tantrum, what did you let her do? Did you hold her? Did you let her do it on her own, or did you I tried to, to hold her, her but okay. she was, like, flailing about. So okay. then I put her on the sofa, and then I thought she was going to fall off the sofa. So I put her on the floor, and I just kind of stood back, and she didn't really want to come to me right at first. She just, and, and she kind of calmed a little bit, and then Easy she came enough. to me and wanted wanted me to like hug her right. and hold her and calm her down. Right. And then right. she was just off running and playing, like it had never happened. Yeah. Yeah, it's usually like, try to, I try to just lay her down, because she is, she's strong. I mean, like, <laughs> strong enough, she'll throw herself out of your arms, and that's wow. scary to me. Yeah. So like, when she, when she does it, and it's usually when she's tired. Yeah, and, you know, it doesn't she's happen very just often. Really frustrated, and it, I think it's, when it when it is close to either a nap time or toward dinner time, mm -hmm. bedtime, and mm -hmm. um, so we just mm -hmm. lay her down on the on the rug and probably like she, once a week. She She's stops pretty quickly once you lay her down. She's just uh -huh. kind of like letting all the frustration out. <laughs> right. So that's what you think she's feeling. She's feeling frustration. I mm -hmm. think so because, like mm -hmm. he said, it's when she's tired and when sometimes we if we have to take something away from her, n not because it's wrong or she's in trouble. If we just need to refill her sippy cup or you know, uh -huh. but she doesn't understand and she right. right. And it's just the, it's the end of the world. <laughs> it seems it seems like it's gotten better. I think because she understands more now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was. I think she was really frustrated because she knew what she wanted, but we couldn't understand you what couldn't she understand wanted. What she wanted. Mm -hmm. And we were trying to ask her and figure uh -huh. it out, and she was she would get frustrated that she couldn't communicate uh -huh. it. And that, that was interesting. We figured that out mm -hmm. a couple months ago, and that's it's really kind of tapered off because yeah. she's gotten mm -hmm. uh, and, and her communication skills have gotten better. And we tell her, you know, use your words. And, right. and now and now sometimes I'll, I'll pick her up and sort of look her and you know. You know, say, say, mm -hmm. what is it? Yeah, and, and sometimes words. she'll just say, Ma, which I, I think means like me, or uh -huh. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes she'll say, Please. And I still don't really know, but at right. least we're trying to talk exactly. and we're not screaming. That's, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's wonderful that you guys realize that she's frustrated and she just needs that little time out to get herself back together right. mm -hmm. and then move on. Mm -hmm. How about clingy? Is she clingy at all sometimes? Do you find her being clingy? Sometimes, but she's Some. pretty social. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's very, very glad to like get down and go. She's just mm -hmm. independent. I mean, mm -hmm. she's become sometimes independent. She's, oh, very much so. And she mm -hmm. gets upset if I do things for her. Oh yes. She wants to do them herself. She wants to I, do them herself. I can't feed her anymore with a spoon. She wants to use the spoon. You know, I and she, and she'll get frustrated if I don't. I mean, she'll shake her head no and uh -huh. mm -hmm. so you she's know, giving like, you swat at me like she's ah, you know I want to do it. That's what I think what she's doing. She's oh, giving yeah. you clear signals about what she wants to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which and is as much as she can. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to do she it all. She wants to do it all. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Would you like to see my lady boss? Wow. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Isn't that cool? That What's is that? Cool. Thank you. Yeah. So have you guys had any? Yes. Why don't you come sit up here with mommy and daddy? Well, she really, she's really telling you what she wants, and right now she's had something she else. She wants to do something else. Yeah. Come right. on, you want to read? You want to read our book? What does the cow say? Mmm. Oh, that's good. good animal. Did you see her smile when she said it? She's proud of herself. Oh, she yes. knows. She knows. Yeah. She she's knows. very proud that she said that. Oh. Mm -hmm. She wants something else besides that book. Boo! Boo! I think boo! Yeah. When I don't she... know.
It's her oh, phone. Oh, it's her phone. <laughs> oh, you're seeing. Hello. Does she imitate you guys a lot on the phone? Yes. She loves the phone. She takes phones out of your people's pocket. pockets if she sees them. Oh, yeah. She'll put it to her ear and she'll just have a conversation. Oh. And sometimes she'll call somebody and yeah. have a conversation. So you're pointing what at what you want. You want the piggy, maybe? Did you this? want the piggy? This? this. Pig? Boy, her speech is just <laughs> remarkable for 14 months old. She's unbelievable. She can really tell you what she wants. That's Matt, right. That's what she said. Uh -huh. Very good. That's right. How's it going at bedtime? I think we're finally good at bedtime. Oh, it's... You can yeah. put her down and she'll just go to sleep on her own? She yes. tells you when she's she ready. She tells you when she's ready. Wow. Mm -hmm. Which is generally around 9, but it's... We've pushed it back later so that she'll sleep longer in the morning. Okay. She wakes up closer to 7 now. Mm -hmm. um, we were going down at 8, but she was getting up at 6 every morning, which is a little pretty early. early. Especially if yeah. she wakes up really early at 5.30. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but she, I mean, she, uh, she pretty much tells you. Do you think it's easier for you to be the parent of a dependent child or the parent of an independent child? Mm. Which is it's, easier for you? I think it's easier... It's easier in some ways to be the parent of a dependent child, but that included a lot of sleepless nights, so I kind of prefer the independent yeah. child, even though yeah. it's, it's, it's harder in other ways, but I, I think I'm enjoying the, the independent child more. Yeah. I'm enjoying the independent child, but it, yeah. it's also a little sad to it lose sad. the dependent, because it, it is. It's amazing how short that window is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like came and went. Can you tell me bye-bye? Can you say bye-bye? I'm going to go. I, is it okay if I go? Say bye-bye. Bye -bye. I'm going to get down here and pick up the toys. Oh. Would that be okay with you? Yeah. Are you, you want to help her? Miss Cheryl oh. pick Are up the toys? Well, thanks for sharing her with us today. Oh, well, can thank you, you say bye-bye, Annabelle? Thank you so much. On today's show, we heard the Ricketts and the Bridgers discuss some of the challenges related to Tamani and Annabelle's growing independence and motor skills. Signs of learning receptive language are becoming increasingly clear. Children at this age are listening carefully to the adults around them all the time, especially when they talk with them. They are making sense of patterns and rules to string words together. They may not have the words, so they use sounds, gestures, and even pointing to tell their parents what they want. However, parents can usually make out a few words like mama and dada. A child between 12 and 15 months is eager to learn to speak. If a child points to an object, parents can say the word associated with the object. Remember, parents, you are your child's first teacher. I hope you enjoyed our program. Join us next time on another episode of Positive Parenting Today as we continue to get to know families in our community and learn from their parenting experiences. We will continue to explore the touch points of child development as well as bring you topics relevant to the most rewarding role you will ever have, being a parent.